Mike Pence is with me now. Mr. Vice President, good morning to you. It's great to have you on the show. Uh, thanks, Stuart. Thanks for having me on. Seems to me that Donald Trump is running away with the Republican nomination at this point. What do you say to that? Well, I, you know, honestly, uh, I understand the, uh, the concern the American people have about the failed policies of the Biden administration. But while I have nothing to announce on your, your show today, I, I think it's early in the Republican nominating uh, process. I understand, uh, you know, look, people look at the record of the Trump-Pence administration, uh, a record that uh, rebuilt our military, revived our economy, secured our border, saw conservatives appointed to our courts. And despite uh, President Biden's announcement today, uh, the record of the Biden administration has been a disaster True. for the American people at home and abroad. I mean, Joe Biden has literally weakened this country on the world stage. His economic policies have created hardship for working families. And, and in a very real sense, look, it's a free country. He can run again. But I got to tell you, whoever is a standard bearer in the Republican Party, I, I, re I, I welcome the opportunity to contrast uh, our record, our policies okay. built on economic freedom with the uh, with the record of failure of the Biden administration in uh, 2024. Abortion seems to be the sticking point for many Republicans. Uh, look at the elections in Wisconsin and Kansas, for example. Are you, sir, firmly opposed to any and all abortions and the abortion pill? Well, Stuart, look, I, I'm pro-life. I don't apologize for it. I, I couldn't be more proud uh, to have been a small part of the administration that appointed three of the justices that sent Roe versus Wade to the ash heap of history. But that, that question has now been properly returned to the states and the American people. And, and I must tell you that I'm going to continue to champion the cause of life at the state level, but also uh, if, if, uh, if, if I ever have responsibilities in Washington, D.C. again, I... Uh, or even just as a private citizen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call on leaders at the national level at both ends of Pennsylvania Avenue uh, to stand for and advance the cause of life. But I got to tell you, you talk about it being a sticking point, Stuart. Uh, you know, the heartbeat bill that uh, that Florida recently signed into law uh, was also signed into law in Georgia and in Ohio, uh, and those Republican governors won decisive victories in 2022. I, I got to tell you, where Republican candidates were willing to step forward and articulate a pro-life position with compassion and with principle, they fared well. Because the truth is, Democrats are the extremists on this issue. They support abortion on demand with taxpayer dollars all the way up to the moment of birth. So I think it's the right issue, the right position. But I also think it can be a winning issue for a nation that cherishes life. Mr. Vice President, thank you very much for being on the show today. I'm sorry you couldn't uh, make your announcement today on this program, but uh, we do understand these things. Thank you for being here, sir. We much appreciate it. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Come back soon. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Stuart. Uh,